All right. Hey guys, Lawrence here at the Peak Design flagship store on Hayes Street in San Francisco. And today we're gonna run through our brand new camera cubes. First off, apologies to everyone who just watched our travel accessories video. Uh, hopefully YouTube has the captions up so that you can understand what Adam is saying through that thick Midwestern draw. Camera cubes are our brand new camera insert system. And as many of you know, we've released them during our eighth Kickstarter, along with our brand new 45 liter travel backpack. The camera cubes represent just a fraction of our brand new packing tool system, a bunch of accessory bags to go inside your larger bags when you travel. To check those out, click the link around here and go to that other video. Like our other packing tools, these camera cubes are designed for the long haul. Over the next couple years, we've got big plans for our travel line, and these cubes will be an integral part of that. You can rest assured that if you purchase these and use them, they're gonna work with our future travel bags and maybe some other stuff along the way. Now, as you can see, our camera cubes have been introduced in three different sizes. We've got small, medium, and large. These sizes you see here aren't arbitrary. With these new cubes and other packing accessories, we've introduced something called the packing unit system. This small cube is essentially one unit. The medium cube is two units, and the large camera cube represents three units. That standardized system of measurement lets you know how many cubes fit in your travel bag perfectly. For example, the 45 liter travel backpack has a three cube capacity. So that would be three smalls, a medium and a small, or one large camera cube. So let's take a closer look at some of the details of these camera cubes. The construction of the cubes features a padded, weatherproof nylon shell. Some other details, all of the cubes have quick grab handles which allow you to carry them around if you need to. They have attachment points for our C-clip system. They've also got integrated webbing loops here that allow you to attach our anchors if you wanted to use a separately sold Peak Design strap or the external carry straps that come with some of our travel bags. This is a great feature if you want to wear the camera cube as its own little bag. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Additionally, all three of the bags are designed for side access on compatible travel bags, like the 45 liter travel backpack. Now the difference there is that the medium and the large have dedicated side doors on both sides, while the small camera cube is mounted on its side to get that side access. And we'll talk more about that when we mount it into the travel backpack. And like all Peak Design soft goods, we've paid a lot of attention to the zippers. Both the quality of the zipper, our custom zip poles, and the path that we've designed for the zips to take mean that you get a smooth operating zip every time. The small cube has the added bonus of a quick pull, which allows you to quickly undo both zips in one motion. This is an awesome feature, both if the cube is inside a travel bag or if you're wearing it externally on one of our straps. It allows you to quickly get inside and get the stuff out that you need. Now in the lids of all the camera cubes, there are breaks in the foam that allow you to easily tuck away the door. And this is really awesome when you mount these cubes inside a travel bag like the 45 liter travel backpack. And we'll talk more about why this comes in handy when we get that out. Let's talk dividers. The basic gist of Flexfold is that they're origami inspired dividers that provide organization and protection and are highly customizable, depending on whatever you're carrying. The camera cubes have their own unique flavor of Flexfold that we've got laid out in front of us here. The main material of the Flexfold dividers actually is a loop for the Velcro hooks. And that allows you to connect the dividers not just to the walls of your camera cube, but to each other, which allows for maximum custom, custom, customizing, customizing of your camera cubes. This gives you maximum customizability. Customizability. All right, let's meet the family. The shelf divider comes in all of the cubes. And it's got an integrated pull-down shelf. That's great if you've got a prime lens or something small and you want to stack two of them on top of each other. The floating pocket is great. It also comes in all of the cubes. Now it's got Velcro back and like the dividers can attach to each other or to the walls of the cube. 
and it's a great place to store memory cards, filters, or other small peripherals. The medium and large camera cubes additionally come with our long and short dividers. Long has built-in flexibility that allows you to put it at a 90 degree angle, maybe even a little further, or at more of a gentle slope that comes in handy if you're trying to do side access or to separate a gripped camera or for just odd shaped items. And the small dividers help you to organize the channels between the long dividers. I'll show you some example loadouts in a second, but something worth noting, the small camera cube comes with two shelf dividers in one floating pocket. The medium camera cube comes with two shelves, two long, four short, and one floating pocket. The large camera cube comes with three shelves, three long dividers, five short dividers, and a floating pocket. All right, enough talk, let's rock. All right, so let me show you how I would pack out this medium camera cube. We've got a full frame DSLR setup right here. Uh, it's a Nikon D800, 70 to 200, a 50 prime, 14, 24, 24 to 70, a grip and an external flash. All right, let's load out a medium camera cube. As you can see, currently empty. Oh gosh, do you see it? I think I caught it. <laughs> That's crazy, do you see what it was? It's a pro tip. I like to start by putting in the long dividers first, fitting my camera in, and then actually putting the lenses in and subdividing the space after that. Don't put all your dividers in and then get frustrated when it's not the perfect fit. Kind of do it in a little bit of this piecemeal way and I think it's gonna be a lot less frustrating. All right, so I'm gonna start with the long dividers and put it back into the corner just outside the door and then get the long section going the other direction. Same with the opposite side. This stuff is pretty sticky, but that's what you want. So this fits my gripped full frame DSLR with a 70 to 200 attached. And you'll notice that this Y shape that accommodates the body is ending at a side access door. So if I've got this thing mounted in my backpack, I can get in through the side door of the backpack and pull out this gripped full frame camera while the backpack is on my body. All right, let's keep loading it up. So like I was saying, you can put in your smaller pieces and build around them. Maybe I'll give that a little more room. It's a lot easier than just guessing. Use a short guy over here to eat up some of this play. Keep my 14 to 24 a little more secure. I'm gonna put my 24 to 70 in here, get, get a feel for how much room it takes up. Here's a short divider again to keep it secure. Kind of push against the lens and then attach the Velcro. And then I've got the perfect little cubby right here for my flash complete with the MagMod adapter. All right. All right, so let's run through some example loadouts. We'll start with a couple of small camera cubes. Here's my personal small camera cube, the one I just took out of my backpack uh, before we started filming. I've got my 5D with the Sigma 514. I've got a single shelf divider going across and in here, I've got this little Ricoh 35 millimeter rangefinder that I've been having a lot of fun with. Of course, I've got the unsanctioned version three anchors, which you should never use. Here's a small camera cube with a Mavic 2 inside. I've got the Mavic 2 taking up most of the space. I've got a shelf divider going across the width of the bag with one battery, shelf down, and a second battery underneath. 
which brings the total number of batteries in this kit to three. I've got my other shelf divider attached to the same wall to divide this space and give me a nice padded area for my controller. And then I've got the charger here in the floating pocket. All right, so now let's get out a medium camera cube. Uh, I'm going to call this one the Influencer Special. If you like taking really beautiful pictures in national parks with small people centered on the frame and have somewhere between 8,000 and 15,000 followers on Instagram, this is the camera cube for you. I'm just kidding, it's for everybody. It's got a Sony A7 of some type with a prime attached to it. I've got my 85, I got my 24 to 70 right here. Two primes stacked on top of each other with the shelf down. I've got a Mavic, this is a Mavic 1, and it's actually got three additional batteries underneath it. I guess I could show that off, which is pretty sweet. Charging for the Mavic, controller for the Mavic, and then in this little compartment here, I've got a little SD card holder, because we're gonna be taking a lot of pictures. Something to note on this setup is that we're actually showing it with some earlier prototype dividers. As we've been filming today, we had to kind of go into the closet to get some out. We upgraded the material on all of them to be this burlier felt coated one. Okay, let me get out that medium cube that we packed up just a second ago. Buttery zippers. All right, I've got my full frame DSLR with a battery grip attached to it and a 70 to 200. And it's set up in this direction for on-body access if I needed to get it out of the bag while it was on my body. I've also got the 24 to 70, that little Prime 50 down here. If I had a second Prime, I could easily put this guy on its side and put down the shelf and pop another guy in there. 14 to 24, and that um, flash. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, so that's it. All right, let's run through a large camera cube. This is the wedding photographer special. Not just any wedding photographer. This is if I was shooting weddings again because it is full of primes. Here's my 5D with a 51.2 attached to it. I got an 85.12, uh, 35 millimeter prime up here. I've got the 14 ultra wide, uh, 2X extender shelved. I could put some more stuff below that, another prime maybe, or just some more peripherals and charging cables or whatever. Um, I got my 70 to 200, which you just, you gotta have it. I, I love primes, but you need this lens. Um, cards, filters, and still room for a few other little things if you need it. Something to note here is you can see that we've got this long divider making a turn here at 90 degrees, and that gives us just enough little space in here at the top for my 5D to fit in there nicely. Uh, the long dividers are super customizable. You could use the side axis on this to get your camera out. I think at a wedding what you're gonna do is set this thing up have the bag put down, and then come and go and get your stuff as needed. Maybe you're using some of our other products, capture with a lens clip or whatever, to have the stuff on your body as needed. Anyways, great setup. All right, let's do one more large camera cube. Let's say uh, maybe you just want to do some casual portraiture of the family or something. Perfect. This 400 to 800 should do it. No, this is a better setup if you're maybe doing some birding, or if you're doing some sports photography. Um, this thing is a monster. And I would actually say that this is about as wide around as you would want to load out a camera cube. It actually extends a little bit above the zipper, which is fine, but it is a thing where I wouldn't go much bigger than that. The length, actually, you could get a slightly longer lens in here. Um, and we'll overlay the max capacity dimensions, because I can't remember them off the top of my head, but as on-screen text right here in my hands. Cool. Uh, right now we're eating up some of the slop with one of these dividers in here, and that keeps this thing from shaking too much up or down. Additionally, I've got two long dividers attached to each other, which gives me 
a nice little channel in here that's subdivided with a shelf and a short divider. I've got my 5D with a 70 to 200. I've got my converter for 2X extension. Uh, it's on a shelf, so I could put another little prime or something down there. Although this isn't really a prime setup, but you never know. And then I've got a card case down here because uh, I'm just going to fill up that memory card with pictures of California condors, uh, maybe your standard turkey vulture, some warblers, maybe a thrush or two, egrets, uh, you name it, all the birds. Okay, uh, let's talk about mounting your camera cubes inside your travel backpack. So before we start showing off how to connect the camera cubes to the 45 liter travel backpack, I want to say a few words about the C-clips. The C-clips are super simple. Uh, they come with all of the camera cubes and they will help keep the cube in place uh, within the bag. So as we go through each of these cubes, I'll show you why you would want to attach them in certain positions. We'll start with a small cube, which you can mount widthways across the bag and actually accommodate three small camera cubes, or you can have your one camera cube and fill this space up with all sorts of other packing tools, like a medium packing cube. Um, you could also fit in your tech pouch, your wash pouch, etc. all sorts of options there. In addition to mounting it widthways across the bag, you can mount it lengthways and fit two small cubes in this direction, with still room for one more cube up here or pouches, or you can compress the bag down. Or for on-body access, you can mount it on its side. Now, with any of these, you line up the webbing, and you get your C-clip out, and you attach it in, then locking it on. And so I would then open up the side door and put my C-clips on on that side. So I've got four points of connection. Uh, you can also squeeze in two small cubes in this orientation for dual side access. All right, now let's do a medium camera cube. And on this one, I'm actually going to insert it with the flap open. And what this facilitates is using the single U-zip on the backpack as the only thing I have to open to get into my kit. This is a good example of when the C-clips are super important. And so the way you attach them is by starting to insert them, you gotta do a little bit of finagling, and then you just latch them shut. And so we'll do that four times around the perimeter of the camera cube. So, like I was saying a second ago, I can close the bag, and then if I'm wearing it and need to get in, I set it down, undo the zip, and I'm inside. Another thing to note on this particular setup is that I've got the camera in this Y shape going towards my side axis. All right, so if I whip the bag around while it's on my body, or if I just want to get in through the side when it's not on, because of how I've mounted this, and laid out the cube, I can pull this thing out of here. Now, here's a little pro tip for you. I heard you like pro tips. You can leave the side door unzipped on your cube and just close down your side door on the 45 liter travel backpack. And what you gain by doing that is again, one zip, you open them both at the same time and you're in. So with this media camera cube in here, I still have the equivalent space of one packing unit. This medium cube takes up two packing units. In here, I can put a small camera cube, I could put a small uh, packing cube, two small compressed packing cubes on top of each other, a wash pouch or a tech pouch, there's a lot of options. I also could just compress the top of the backpack and have a slightly smaller silhouette and still be carrying this whole kit. All right, now let's mount a large camera cube inside the backpack. And I'm going to have the lid open on this guy as well. So I push the cube down towards the bottom of the bag 
helps me line up the webbing for my C-clips. And when you carry it, it's just gonna keep the weight where it naturally wants to go. The large camera cube comes with six C-clips, so no reason not to use them all, right? All right, so I've got this large camera cube mounted inside my 45 liter travel backpack. I can close the lid on this thing, carry it around, and then when I need to, I can set it down and get out whatever I need from the kit. You'll also notice that this kit is not set up for on-body access, and that's just the nature of carrying one of these super telephoto lenses. You've got to utilize the longest dimension of your cube to get that thing in there. I've actually still got a little room here at the top of the bag, which is plenty if I want to stick in a wash pouch or a tech pouch. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna pack out my 45 liter travel backpack for a weekend getaway. Let's say I'm going up to Tahoe from here. Um, the various tools that I've got ready to go, I've got my small camera cube that has my kit I showed you earlier, which is just my 5D, a nice lens, and then that little uh, rangefinder film camera I've got going right now. I got my fully loaded tech pouch. I've got a uh, one small packing cube with just enough clothes to get through the weekend. Uh, and I got my wash pouch. I love to have all my toiletries looking good. Uh, I got my laptop, a nice good sized water bottle, and my uh, ever timeless Levi's jean jacket. Let's see how that loads up. So I'm gonna mount my small camera cube for side access which requires four C-clips. Now I'm gonna flip the bag over and go in through the front organization panel to get those other two C-clips on. You could probably also go through the side door. That side access lets me do on-body access into the camera cube, not having to take the travel backpack off. That's awesome if you just want to whip the bag around, get the camera out, and get a shot. Super similar to our everyday backpack. All right, next up, packing cube. Just enough stuff to get through the weekend, uh, and this fits perfectly side-by-side -side with my small camera cube. All right, this doesn't happen by itself. I gotta have a fully packed out wash pouch. So I do. Right at the top, all my electronics and peripherals, chargers, dongles, etc. On top of that, nice and snug up there. Still a little room though. Uh, all right, let's take my lab top. Put that in the sleeve. Then I'm gonna close the back panel up here. It's looking pretty good. Flip it over. Open up my front organization panel. Get this guy in here. My Levi's jean jacket. Timeless. big water bottle, ready to go. That was easy. Uh, I think I could even accommodate some more stuff. I didn't utilize the expansion on this front panel. If I had a bigger jacket, if I wanted to put a shoe pouch inside the main compartment and move maybe my tech or my wash pouch to the front, tons of options. This is how I would be using this bag if I was going out for the weekend though. All right, so this is my loadout for the weekend. Let's say we get to the hotel and I wanna unload some stuff, but then take the bag out with me for the day. Easy. Let's take it back down, open up the back. Where are my zips? I'm gonna leave my 
packing cube full of clothes, and my wash pouch, I don't really need it right now, right back here. Um, I'll move the tech pouch down to the bottom of the bag, just so gravity is working uh, on my side there. Leave the water bottle uh, and leave my jacket. Yeah, I'll use the laptop, I might need it. Keeping the laptop in. Now, with that small camera cube mounted for on-body access, I can just compress the bag. And it's a little more manageable for day carry. Fun fact, I've actually been using this bag as my daily bag here in San Francisco uh, for the past couple of weeks just to get more familiar with it and test it out in that uh, regards. And I've found that if you wear a 30 liter everyday backpack, this feels about the same size in its compressed state, but it's got our rugged, more burly harness and a couple features that I think are really neat. I love it. And let me show you real quick how that side access works. Let's say I've got the bag on, I see something really cool, and I gotta get my picture. So I swing it around, and while I'm swinging it, I loosen on the adjuster to give it a little more slack, and that way it sits comfortably right in front of me. Grab the zip, open my side access panel, and I'm inside. And I can grab my little Rico, click, click, get the picture, put it back in. It's pretty awesome. And as we mentioned earlier, the tops of your camera cubes fold back, so if I'm going in through the side access, that's just one zipper, or if I'm going in through the back access of the bag, it's still just one zipper to get into my cubes. We totally didn't forget to film this the other day and are punching it in later. So like I mentioned earlier, all of our camera cubes are compatible with our separately sold camera straps. This medium camera cube right now is being held on by a slide light. I just run the anchors through these webbing loops that are conveniently located around all of the cubes. Uh, this turns your cube into a pretty great little day bag. I can get into the main compartment through the zip, and I can also get in to the side on my medium and large cubes through the side access uh, flap. Let's, uh, let's head back to the store. Our camera cubes work seamlessly with our other packing tools and our travel bags to give you a thoughtful, protective, and modular packing experience. We're also really excited about the bags that we're going to make in the future and how they're going to integrate these same camera cubes. As always, if you've got any questions, reach out to our customer service team and happy traveling and shooting. Buy with confidence. I got to get out of here. I got 18 at the Presidio, and if I don't get out of here right now, Dulon's going to just have my ass over a grill. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh. We're doing fine. We're doing good. Oh, easy there, Tiger. That was the one. <laughs>